Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Madeline James, Lexington, Kentucky. The books are open. As I fell asleep a couple nights ago, on April 1st, 2023, I heard, The books are open. I then saw a book open and I saw a person running through the pages of this book. I asked the Lord, What book is this? He said it's the book of life and destiny from Psalm 139 where many have felt like the plans of God have been hidden or yet to come to pass. Be encouraged. The books are opening up for you. What has been closed is being revealed. Many of you are coming into a time and a season where you're going to walk into the promises and the things that God has ordained for your life. It's in the book of destiny. You are not forgotten. What has been ordained for your life shall come to pass. Psalm 139, verse 5. From the Passion Translation, You've gone into my future to prepare the way, and in kindness you follow behind me, to spare me from my harm of my past. You have laid your hand upon me. And Psalm 139.16, from the Passion Translation, You saw who you created me to be before I became me, before I'd ever seen the light of day. The number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. Let's pray into this word together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our sister Madeline. Lord Jesus, I thank you that the books are truly open. And Lord, that we can run into the life and the destiny that you have for us. Father, help us not to get tripped up. Help us, help us not, Lord, to hinder our own progress, but help us to fully trust in you. Lord, what does that trust look like for us today? Lord, is it making a phone call? Is it doing a specific activity? Is it limiting a certain activity? Holy Spirit, reveal to the inside of me. Reveal to the inside of my friend, Lord. What is it today? What is written in our book for today? Lord, I thank you that we are not forgotten. I thank you, Lord, for the the promises and the plans that you have in our books. It will come to pass, friend. Let's trust God today and know that he is a big God and he's worthy of all of our praises because he is a promise keeper. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.